Our government will not stand idly by and allow a few political agenda to tear this nation apart. Under the circumstances, I have enjoyed protesters and the organizers to suspend any further protest and create room for dialogue, which I have always acceded to at the slightest opportunity. Nigeria requires all hands on deck and it owes all, regardless of age, party, religion, or other divides, to work together reshaping our destiny as a nation. For those who have taken undue advantage of this situation to threaten any section of this country, be warned. The law will catch up with you. There is no place for ethnic bigotry or such threats in the Nigeria we seek to build. Our democracy progresses right of every Nigeria are respected and protected. Our law enforcement agencies should continue to ensure full protection of life and properties of innocent citizens in a responsible manner. My vision for our country is one of a just and prosperous nation where each person may enjoy the peace, freedom, and good that only democratic good governance can provide. One that is open, transparent, and accountable to the Nigerian people. For decades, our economy has remained anemic and taken a dip because of many misalignments that have stunted our growth. Just over a year ago, our dear country, Nigeria, reached a point where we could, couldn't afford to continue to use to solve long-term problems for the sake of now and our unborn generations. I therefore took the painful yet necessary decision to remove a subsidy and abolish multiple foreign exchange system which had constituted a news around the economic juggler of our nation and impede our economic development and progress. These actions block the greedy profit that smugglers and rent seekers made. They also block the undue subsidy we had extended to our neighboring countries to the de detriment of our people, rendering our economy prostrate. These decisions I made were necessary if we must reverse the decades of economic mismanagement that didn't serve us well. Yes, I agree. The box stops on my table. I assure you that I am focused fully on delivering the governance to the people, good governance for that matter. In the past 14 months, our government has made significant strides in rebuilding the foundation of our economy to carry us into a future of plenty and abundance. On the physical side, aggregate government revenue has more than doubled hitting over nine era in the first half of 2024, compared to the first half of 2023 due to our efforts at blocking leakages, introducing automation, and mobilizing funds creatively without additional burden on the people. Productivity is gradually increasing in the non-oil sector, reaching new levels and taking advantage of the opportunities in the ambience. My dear brothers and sisters, we have come this far 
coming from a place where our country spent 97% of all our revenue on debt service. We have been able to reduce that to 68% in the last 13 months. We have also cleared legitimate outstanding foreign exchange obligations of about five billion without any adverse impact on our this has given us more financial freedom 